Cross it! Yeah, how great that movie was, right? The special effects are incredible. NASA has announced it is going ahead with a plan to capture and redirect an asteroid into the Earth's orbit. Imagine this. Yeah, they're they're right? going to capture it, <laughs> and, and then they're going to redirect, redirect it. it. <laughs> so this NASA mission could lead to future te technology that would one day stop an asteroid from slamming into the Earth like you just saw in that movie Armageddon. Here to tell us about it is CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. And I'm sure, Bill, you're probably thinking to yourself, please don't show that movie when it comes to something as serious as what we're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, what pretty much. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm good. But what is this NASA mission involving asteroids? Well, you know, this is a major initiative of the Obama administration, which has asked NASA to go out, capture a small asteroid, actually just a boulder off the surface of an asteroid. They're going to do this with a robotic spacecraft, haul it back to the vicinity of the moon, and then sometime in the mid-2020s, astronauts will go up on a new rocket, they'll rendezvous with this thing, uh, collect some samples, do some research, and bring it back to Earth. So we're a long way from Armageddon-type uh, rescue <laughs> missions, uh, but it is the first step, and they'll learn a lot about asteroids in the process. And, of course, NASA views this mission as a stepping stone to an eventual flight to Mars. That's, that's the bottom line. Bill, in simple terms, how do you catch an asteroid? <laughs> very, very <laughs> carefully. Yeah, so um, lasso. <laughs> <laughs> well, what they're really looking at doing now is having a robotic spacecraft that would rendezvous uh, with a larger asteroid, descend to the surface, and then they're talking about some kind of a grapple device that would literally uh, grab a hold of a, a good-sized boulder, something, you know, 12 to 15 feet across, something like that, and then haul it back to the vicinity of the moon. None of this is, is easy stuff. They've never done anything quite like that before. And uh, they're, they're, of course, saying that by developing this technology, learning how to deal with asteroids, they'll gain insights into what they might do someday. If you ever saw a big rock on a collision course with Earth, you might have some way to deflect it, change its course, and prevent an impact. So what's the time frame for this uh, mission? When is that expected to begin? Well, they hope to launch the, the robotic mission sometime around 2020, sometime in that ballpark. Uh, the, the crewed mission, it'll take two astronauts out to the captured asteroid, or, or piece thereof, I should say, uh, is kind of notionally considered in the mid-2020s, 2025. Uh, but these are projects that are going to require a lot of money from Congress. And it's way too early to say when something like this might actually take off. But right now, mid-2020 seems to be the best guess. Does, do all the conditions basically have to be perfect up there when they actually try to capture this asteroid? I mean, I'm sure that there's a lot of... Um, you know, gravity and the gases and everything else, you know, that you've got to deal with up there. I mean, how do you measure those, those perfect conditions to make this a success? Well, really, I don't think it's the conditions so much as, as you're describing them there as it is just the technology and making sure all these systems actually work. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, robotically, again, nobody's going to be there. This all has to be done by computers and by remote control from the ground. Uh, but remember, there's no atmosphere with asteroids, and if they can uh, get the spacecraft there, uh, there's, there's no question they can get down to the surface. Uh, you know, picking up a massive asteroid, or, uh, or a boulder anyway, and bringing it back to Earth, that's going to be a challenge. Uh, but they think they can do it. They think the technology is available, and uh, they're looking forward to trying it. You know, we're seeing some animation here um, of NASA's plans, and it, it basically shows like a big basket. Um, it looks yeah. as though that they're going to capture, try to capture that asteroid um, in. And then um, on the right-hand side of the screen, I mean, for me, I, I guess I would explain it almost as like a kitchen tool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks like it's, you know, it's like claws. Yeah, that, then, that the um, astronaut is using. Yeah, is, is that pretty much, um, uh, you know, a, a true sense of how this plan may work? You know, it, it's interesting when you cover how big space missions like this evolve. We're at the very early stages of this one. And the, the drawings and animations that NASA puts out to illustrate it I hate to use the word notional because it, it sounds kind of a little bit silly. It's not very conversational, but it's true. These are notions about how it might work. The actual engineering, the actual building the hardware, testing it, making sure it'll work, that's something that hasn't happened yet and is going to take quite a while to develop. So you know, I look at these things kind of as just rough, rough outlines, vague guidelines as to how it might be done. We'll get more details, obviously, as this progresses and they begin doing actual designing and construction.